Hey everybody, it's Andy. Uh, just here in my living room. Um, I thought I'd talk a few minutes today about why I really think writing schedules are so important. Um, I don't really have any hard and fast rules about most of the things writing related, but um, I do think it's important to sort of figure out what works for you. So for example, for me, I get up very early um, and I do some reading and get some coffee in me and then I write my thousand words five days a week at 6 a.m. I start at 6, I write until it's done, um, and then I kind of feel like that's done and out of the way and I can move through the day. For some of you, that's not going to be awesome because it is um, not possible with small children to write early in the day like that. Maybe they hear you as soon as you're up and they're up and so that doesn't necessarily work. Or um, maybe you just are not a morning person, so that's not ideal. But maybe it works better for you to write at 8 o'clock when the kids are in bed or maybe at your lunch break. Um, I was just reading something that my friend Alora Ramirez wrote and she talks about writing at lunch. Um, I just think it's important to have some sort of schedule, some boundaries around the time that you're going to write um, because it, it helps you preserve that sort of a sacred time, time that's really meant to be set aside for writing. Um, and, and time that isn't then gobbled up by other things. Um, it's really hard to make writing important in our lives. And so one way we can preserve that time is to really say, um, this is the hour I'm going to write, and that's how I'm going to do it. So for you, maybe that's 30 minutes at the beginning of the day, or an hour at the end of the day, or two hours on Saturday. Um, that schedule can be really helpful. The other thing that is really, I think, helpful about having a schedule is you can communicate that to the people you love and say, like, I'm just going to be in here for an hour, and when I'm done, we can go do whatever. That way they understand that you're not in there forever. You know, you haven't quest sequestered yourself off for 16 years. You're just in there for an hour. And then they can be supportive of that. Um, I have friends who have small children who will put even a clock on the door and it will say, um, dad will be ready at this time. And if they can read a clock, they know. And, um, I have other friends who will just say, I'm going to a coffee shop for two hours and then I'll be back and we can go grocery shopping or we can go to the pool or whatever. But those boundaries can really help, um, the schedule boundaries can really help the people we love sort of support us in the time that we're putting aside for this. Um, it really can make a huge difference. So, so schedule helps us get to writing. It helps the people we love support our writing. And I think the third thing that it does is it sort of lifts that, I think of it as a burden, that burden of feeling like I should always be writing, like why am I not writing more, I should be writing 10,000 words a day, I should be doing all these things. When I have a schedule and I stick to it, that I feel like I've done the work I've set out to do for that day or that week or that month. When I don't have a schedule and I'm just like I'll get to writing whenever, I'm one, not likely to get to it and two, likely to feel guilty most of the time that I'm not getting to it you have related to that you can like give me some love for that because I think that's totally happens a lot um, so I think that's the three things that I just wanted to share today about writing and schedules one is that it helps you get it done two it helps the people that you love really support you in the work that you're doing and three it helps you not feel bad when you're not writing because you know you're gonna get to it you've set aside a time for it so that's what I think. I'd love to hear what you guys think about writing in a schedule. Post a comment. Shoot me a note on Twitter at AndyLit. Um, post a comment here on YouTube if you want. But uh, yeah, and I'll be around uh, sometime soon probably to talk about something else about writing. Love you all. Have a great day.